Today, I want to dive deep into something that might sound a bit technical at first, but I promise it's incredibly powerful and practical if you're serious about understanding Bitcoin's market behavior. We're going to explore the power of UTXO data in Bitcoin on-chain analysis, what it is, why it matters, and how I've combined some custom indicators to give you clearer, actionable insights into the market. So let's dive in. First things first, what is a UTXO? Well, it stands for Unspent Transaction Output. It's almost a digital coin in the Bitcoin world. But unlike physical coins, these unspent transaction outputs come with two key differences you need to understand to really grasp what's going on under the hood. Number one, every time you spend one, it's spent in full. You can't just spend part of it. It's all or nothing. Imagine you have a $20 bill. You can't just hand over $10 from that same bill. You have to hand over the entire $20 bill and then get change back. Which brings me to the second difference. They don't have fixed face values like physical currency bills do. Instead, their values are completely flexible and expressed in Satoshis, the smallest unit of Bitcoin. So if you have an unspent transaction output worth 3 Bitcoin and you want to send 2 Bitcoin to someone else, what happens on-chain is that the original 3 Bitcoin output is spent entirely, basically completely destroyed. And then 2 new outputs are created. 2 Bitcoin that goes to the recipient, and 1 Bitcoin that's the change, which comes back to you. If you don't get it, don't worry, you don't have to. We're about to go through what the data is telling us in a simple-to-view format. This type of on-chain analysis allows us to track not just the movement of Bitcoin, but the behavior behind these movements. It's a rich source of data that helps us decode what different market participants, especially the big players, are doing. So, enough of the complicated background, let's get into some of the custom indicators I've developed to analyze Bitcoin's market action using this data. The first one I want to talk about is the whale distribution indicator. This tracks when large Bitcoin holders, often called whales, might be offloading coins. But importantly, they tend to do this during periods of market strength. How do we know this? Well, the indicator uses a metric from Glassnode called the mean value spent, which measures the average USD value of spent transaction outputs. When we see spikes in this value, it suggests older or higher value coins, usually held by long-term holders, or whales, are moving. But here's the key. To avoid false alarms from routine on-chain activity, this indicator compares short-term and long-term exponential moving averages of this metric, and it only triggers when there's a significant surge, in this case, 30% or more. On top of that, it filters for context. It only fires when Bitcoin is trading above its 30-day simple moving average, which means whales are distributing into strength, not panic selling during downturns. It also requires a big daily price move, a candle greater than 5%, to make sure the signal coincides with meaningful price action. What you get from this is a high confidence, low frequency signal that highlights potential whale exits. It's not perfect for pinpointing the exact day to sell or buy, but it's incredibly useful to understand how big holders are positioning themselves on a macro level. If you look at the past bull run, you'll see this signal perfectly timed whale distributions around the 35,000, 70,000 and 100,000 rallies. So yes, whales do tend to sell at big rallies, but don't think they're always smart or perfect. They sometimes sell during downturns too, showing they're human like the rest of us. Next up, let's talk about the SOPA profit surge indicator. This one takes the concept of spent transaction output values a step further by merging median spent values with the well-known SOPA metric, the spent output profit ratio, which tells us if coins are being sold at a profit or loss. The way it works is by applying two moving averages to the median spend and filtering these with the famous SOPA metric, but only when it is greater than one, meaning coins are being sold at a profit. This isolates moments where smart money or experienced traders are either accumulating or distributing at profitable levels. So, why does this matter? Well, because it filters out the noise created by retail traders or small fluctuations. 
it zeroes in on when serious players are moving the market, which often marks important turning points. During the major cycles like 2019 and 2021, this indicator lit up during heavy profit-taking phases. For instance, the massive profit-taking near the $100,000 level in this bull run was clearly visible, showing many long-term holders cashing out at this psychological milestone. Now, combining these two powerful tools, I created the UTXO Master Index. This synthesizes the whale distribution and the SOPA profit surge indicator to capture the nuances of Bitcoin market dynamics in a single, comprehensive metric. It effectively isolates moments where smart investors are realizing profits while median transaction sizes are surging. This helps us distinguish between healthy accumulation phases and imminent sell-offs, crucial for anyone trying to time the market with more precision. What makes the Master Index especially valuable is its multi-layered smoothing and filtering, which reduces noise and highlights only the most meaningful shifts in transaction behavior. On the charts, you'll see purple triangles that mark confluence points where both the whale distribution and the profit surge indicator align. This confluence is key because no single indicator tells the full story. When multiple signals agree, the picture becomes clearer and more reliable. It's like triangulating a position. The more points you have, the more accurate your reading. If you're finding these on-chain insights valuable and want to stay ahead of the game, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Now let's dive back into the analysis. Finally, I want to introduce the Activity Flow Index, which is a different but complementary way of looking at Bitcoin's on-chain behavior. This indicator measures the percentage of Bitcoin's circulating supply that has moved in the past 12 months, but with smoothing to cut down on day-to-day -day volatility and noise. When the active supply percentage is rising, it means more coins are changing hands over the past year. This generally signals increased market participation or distribution by long-term holders, often during phases where holders are realizing profits or reacting to major market events. These periods often precede volatility or price corrections. Conversely, when the active supply percentage is declining or staying low, it shows a large chunk of Bitcoin is dormant, being held tightly by investors who aren't moving their coins. This accumulation phase is a bullish sign because it means reduced selling pressure and supply tightening, often setting the stage for price rallies. I have also converted this signal into a momentum oscillator that measures the rate of change in the active supply over the trailing year. This oscillator uses exponential moving averages and calculates the rate of change over a default 100-day period. The output is visualized as a colored line beneath the price chart with a gradient from deep purple to deep pink. Deep purple signals strong negative momentum, meaning declining activity. And deep pink shows strong positive momentum, meaning accelerating activity. This color-coded oscillator gives you an intuitive feel for how long-term holder activity is shifting, which is invaluable for anticipating market turning points. It's especially powerful at spotting tops and bottoms because long-term holders often lead these phases. Looking at recent history, the $70,000 and $100,000 rallies showed huge spikes in this indicator, reflecting intense activity from long-term holders. Right now though, despite the price being above those levels, activity remains relatively low, and we're nowhere near overheated territory. This is a very bullish sign suggesting there's still room to run. I'm currently putting the finishing touches on a comprehensive suite of custom indicators that will soon be available on TradingView exclusively for premium members. So, if you want to take your Bitcoin analysis to the next level, stay tuned. Big things are coming. So, to wrap things up, the UTXO model is really the backbone of understanding Bitcoin's on-chain behavior. It lets us see not just where Bitcoin is moving, but also reveals the intentions of major players behind those moves. This isn't just surface level price action, it's about the deeper flow of coins and what that tells us about market sentiment. Then, when we bring in the whale distribution and profit surge indicators, we get a clearer picture of when the smart money is stepping in or stepping out.
These signals highlight moments when experienced investors are either taking profits or accumulating, filtering out the noise from everyday traders. That kind of insight is invaluable if you want to understand the market beyond just the price charts. Finally, the activity flow index adds another layer by showing us how coins are circulating over the long term. When activity is low, it suggests strong accumulation and tightening supply, which often precedes bullish moves. On the other hand, spikes in activity usually signal distribution or profit taking, often leading to price corrections. Together, these tools give a much richer, more nuanced view of the Bitcoin market, helping you anticipate key turning points with better confidence. And that's all for today's analysis. Want more in-depth insights on today's topic? If you prefer written content, join my free newsletter for exclusive analysis. Click the link in the description. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one.